In a circular orbit, the centripetal or radial force must be equal to the gravitational force given by Newton's law of universal gravitation. The equation for the centripetal force is F equals mv squared on R, and the equation for the gravitational force from Newton's law of universal gravitation is F equals capital G, little m, big M, on R squared, where V is the tangential velocity in meters per second, R is the radius of the circle in meters, M is the mass of the object in kilograms, capital M is the mass of the central body in kilograms, capital G is the universal gravitational constant, and F is force in newtons. Therefore we can write mv squared on R equals capital G little m big M on R squared. Multiplying both sides by R we get the equation mv squared equals capital G little m big M on R. Therefore v squared equals capital G capital M on R. We can substitute from our equation for V into our equation relating V squared to G, central body mass, and distance from the center of mass of the central body to derive Kepler's third law. So V squared equals capital G capital M on R. Substituting in for V we get 4 pi squared R squared on T squared equals capital G capital M on R. Therefore R cubed on T squared equals capital G capital M on 4 pi squared. As capital G and pi are both constants, the ratio of R cubed to T squared depends only on the mass of the central body. This means that it is a constant for all objects orbiting a given central body. So therefore R cubed on T squared is going to be equal for all objects orbiting the same central body. Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation and Satellites By combining Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation with the equations for circular motion, we can derive Kepler's Law of Periods in a more useful form. We find that the ratio of the period and radius of the orbit of a body around another body depends only on the mass of the central body. We can calculate the velocity of a satellite from the mass of the central body and the radius of its orbit, and we can also calculate the mass of the central body from the period and radius of the orbit of a satellite. This relationship is summarized in the equation R cubed on T squared equals capital G capital M on 4 pi squared. The velocity of a satellite around a central body can be calculated using the equation V squared equals capital G capital M on R. Summary. By equating centripetal force in uniform circular motion with the force calculated from Newton's law of universal gravitation, we can derive the relationship R cubed on T squared equals capital G capital M on 4 pi squared where capital M is the mass of the central body in kilograms, capital G is the universal gravitational constant, R is the radius of the circle in meters, and T is the orbital period in seconds. The ratio of the period and radius of the orbit of a body around a central mass depend only on the mass of the central body. By combining Newton's law of universal gravitation with Kepler's third law, we can calculate the orbital velocity of a satellite from the mass of the central body and the radius of its orbit. We can also calculate the mass of the central body from the period and radius of the orbit of a satellite. Thank you for watching.